Don't be painful. Junpei, you went and chose Ally the last time! Wait, last time? The hell are you going on about? Th this is the first time we've played. What's going on? How do I even know about last time? Junpei's right. This should have been the first time. So, why do I think there was another one? When did this... Last time happened. That'll come back to bite you in the ass. Come close. I swear, I'll get you for this. This is... This is... Like when I'm in a fire. Up until now, I've... I've avoided the paths leading to death. So then maybe I can. Please, don't think badly of me for this. Later. Did she get bullied a lot? No. It was just... Well, not many people wanted to be friends. Uh, where? You okay? Is... Is this before the A-B game? What? Okay... Uh, should I keep going? Y yeah I always saw her, sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I... I decided I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her if I could. Huh? Then one day, her beloved rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. She went to their hutch, crying, and apologizing over and over to them. How... How, how do you know that? Did Akane tell you? No. Then... why? Uh, so, gonna stay silent, huh? Uh, fine. I guess there's no point talking about this. Let's just get these votes. No, wait! Something's weird. Hello, hot calling kettle. Whatever I chose in the AB game, it was always the worst outcome. What are you talking about? Um, uh, Junpei? Carlos? I think... I understand. I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. Shift? Space-time-human-internal-fluctuating-transfer. 
A phenomenon where one's mind crosses space and time. Akane, is... is that...? The power we used a year ago? The ability to send and receive information through the morphogenetic field. It's a simpler version of this. You're saying the Mishir right now came from a different history? Well, your consciousness at least. Say you go back in time to when your parents met, using a car as a time machine. Know what movie I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, of course I do. The high school protagonist almost gets it on with his own mother and tries to get his awkward dad to marry her. That's the basic plot, right? Yes, the story revolves around a boy. We'll call him M. Now, according to the plot, he's successful at getting his parents to marry. But history ends up changing slightly. Upon returning to his own time, his father's a famous science fiction writer, and he's rich. Huh, I guess the hierarchy was switched when his dad punched the neighborhood bully. But, did you notice something odd about the movie? Just what happened to the M who lived in that fancy house? Huh, well, now that you mention it. I don't think the M from that history appears in the movie at all. There are two overarching types of stories about time travel. The first type states that there is always only one history. Meaning, if someone changes the past, that previous past is subsequently erased. Is where multiple histories exist. This is the many worlds interpretation, one of the more widely believed hypotheses on multiverse theory. The world and universe split into branches as a result of one's decisions. It's a setup where each branch is able to exist in some form. Okay, so back to the movie. First, Let's consider what happens with a single path history. In this case, do you know what M is doing back in his own time? What he's doing? Committing a form of murder. Murder? Well, think about it. Uh, the M who grew up in that fancy house, let's call him M2. M2 should have had a variety of amazing memories from his life. Maybe he met a really cute girl he liked, or was a winner of a contest. The possibilities are endless. All of those memories, every single one was overwritten when M came from another history. Huh? But the history that disappeared was poor M's. You're right, that's true. What was erased from existing in time was M's history. But the only memories that M retained uh, are those of when he was poor. So, in effect, the life that M2 lived through was overwritten, all because of the actions that the protagonist M took to save his own. I'd say that's the same as killing someone, don't you think? Next is the multiverse hypothesis. In this situation, M2's life is never erased. Instead, a mystery remains. So, where did M2, the version who remembers being well off, up and disappear to? Where he went? This is what I think. On the same day that protagonist M used the time machine, M2, for some reason, did the same as M and went back to the past. But then, he did the exact opposite of M. The opposite? Mm-hmm. He stopped his dad from punching the bully. So, when he returned to his own time, it was the world poor M had lived in. Are you saying that they pretty much switched places? It would keep everything consistent. That's depressing. 
What is? Uh, M2's situation. Well, he ends up getting the bum end of the deal regardless of which scenario happens. Damn, that's pretty unfair. Yes, that's true. But, uh, this is rather difficult to say, Carlos. Your case may be exactly the same. What? Your consciousness could have come from another history and taken over this body. In exchange, the Carlos who was here originally... No. Another me is in the other history? Uh, there's no use in getting upset. You simply need to accept that that's what shifting is. But wait, Akane, how did you know that Carlos is able to shift? He mentioned before that he knows which path has death at the end and which is safe. I just sort of knew, too. An arsonist set fire to our house when I was 18. My parents didn't make it, though I was able to get my sister Maria out. But we didn't make a clean escape. Maria fell into some sort of coma. They first thought that she had carbon monoxide poisoning, but that wasn't what it was. Reverie Syndrome. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. We believe this is what your sister has. Maria is either receiving large amounts of information from the morphogenetic field, or her consciousness cannot stop its jumping between multiple histories. Then she's like us. Yes, though it's slightly different. In Maria's case, that power is running rampant within her. That is what the reverie syndrome really is. What? If a way can be found to control the ability, then she could recover from it. Is that true? I see. That's good. So there's some hope for her. Hey, Carlos. When you dove into the fire to save your sister, you were able to hear her voice, right? Yeah, I was. Carlos, I'm here! Over here! Maria! Maria, is that you? Just stay there! I'm coming to get you! No matter how you look at it, there was no way her voice could reach me. But I realized exactly where she was, and I found her quickly. That was the first time. After that, I could hear victims crying out in the fires, and which way would lead to my death. This, this ability we have is triggered by intense danger. When we are threatened by a crisis, it's easier for us to access the field. I get it. So that's what it was. So, Carlos, Junpei, shall we shift? Huh? What? There's really no reason to play the A-B game. Well, as it stands right now, it's incredibly likely the both of you will decide to pick ally. But instead of going through that, it'd be better to shift to another history. It'll work! The three of us will definitely be able to do it! But only... if we find our lives in danger. Wait, what do you mean by danger? Hey, uh, 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 Kane? Hmm? You're really turning the reactor into a bomb? I told you earlier, didn't I? Our lives have to be in danger for our shift ability to manifest. But this, this is absolutely nuts. 
even if we do manage to do this, the us who are from whatever history we switch with will end up... Do you plan on dying here then? at all, are you? That's not true. Here, look. My heart's pounding so fast. You want to check it? Uh, Two minutes until detonation. Uh, hey, it's kind of getting down to the wire here. Uh, shit! Okay, uh, we're just gonna have to go for it. Jump to the same history I am. The same history? Which one? Think. There's a history when we didn't get all ones on the dice rolls. The moment right after that. Are you insane? We're just gonna get ourselves killed. It's okay. I have a plan. 30 seconds until detonation. All right. I trust you, Junpei. Ah, damn it! Junpei, if we die, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. That one doesn't count. Oh, oh, um, I, uh, uh... Your hand slipped! That was it, right? Yeah, what she said. Uh, you, you wouldn't mind a little do-over, right? Zero? D did it work? But this is... What was your idea? Yeah, um, right. First. What the hell? Carlos, put Akane in the fireplace. Huh? Just do it! Junpei, what are you... Akane, listen to me. Carlos and I are going to be your shield wall. What? What are you talking about? The bullets shouldn't hit you if there are two bodies in front of you. But, but if you do that, then you'll... It's okay. Listen, Carlos and I will protect you and die. The fuck? Don't worry, it'll be fine. Before we die, we just need to shift to another history. Once you hear all of the X-Passes, Akane, you should follow right away. The, the X-Passes? In this history, five are already dead. Five's the only other one alive. That means five X passes will be revealed. If Carlos's and mine are added to that, then there'll be seven. No! Damn it, Junpei. What the hell is this plan? You're going to help, right? God damn it! Don't do this! We, we can't.
can't go back now. This is the only way. Where are we jumping? To the history when we rolled the dice and they were all ones. Okay, let's do this then. Let's protect Akane, no matter what. I'm counting on you, Carlos. No! No, 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 no! What in the world were you thinking? What is your problem? Look, the three of us shifted just fine, so what's the big deal? It's not okay! Uh, we did get seven X passes, at least. Not you too, Carlos. I can't believe you! You always were like that, weren't you, Junpei? When we were in sixth grade, you faced those rabbit-killing middle school kids alone. There were probably other ways of handling it, but you rushed right in. Even the shifting. It's okay because it worked, but... What if I was left behind there? Well, I, uh, I figured you could escape alone then, or, or something. But that way of thinking is completely wrong! Being the sole survivor does not make me happy! There's no point in living once you lose the one you care about the most. Akane... <laughs> I'm sorry. I... I never meant to ever cause you pain like that. What's that? Well, um, remember back in elementary school, your dream was to wear a ring on your left hand? So... What's the matter? <laughs> Junpei... <laughs> Junpei... <laughs> Thank you. Thank 
you so much. <laughs> but... <laughs> you know this is my right hand, don't you? Wait, what? Oh, uh, you're right. It, um, it, it looked like the left from, from my side, so, uh... <laughs> That's just like you, Junpei. <laughs> uh, well, we'll move it to the correct finger later. <laughs> I'll do it officially after we escape from here. I understand. So... Until then, I'll leave an empty spot open. <laughs> it's been put on reserve. Kane, do you remember the X-Passes for Junpei and me? Yes. Normally, when someone shifts, they forget the memories from the last timeline. But I'm used to it. It's all there. But wait, hold on. Carlos and I remember what happened before, too. Huh. I think the memories were strengthened due to the resonance effect. Those with the ability to shift... Oh. There are three of us here, so... But... I wonder why. Why have three shifters gathered in a place like this? Doesn't really seem like a coincidence. Huh. True. Even if we really are seeing more shifters in the world, the probability... Wait. The numbers are increasing? Mankind is about to face an unprecedented crisis. As it stands now, we'll lose six billion lives. I assume mankind has sensed that and is adapting. Even though it's, in reality, only a small portion. There's no way there are tens of thousands of shifters. Then it's definitely on purpose. But we signed up for DCOM of our own free will. Wait a minute. But maybe we just think that. And in actuality, we did exactly what Zero wanted? It's highly possible. Ah, damn. What is that bastard thinking? Wasn't it because he needed us to shift? Why would that be important? It'll all be over once we get out of here anyway. You're right. We couldn't care less what Zero has planned at this point. We need six X-Passes. We know five of them already, so one more. Akane, tell us one of the other X-Passes. It's save. Hey! What the hell? Wait, wait. Is the X-Pass wrong somehow? Th that can't be! Yeah, let's try the other one, too! Akane! Uh, it's dull. What the? No way. But why? X-Passes are sent to their respective histories. X-Passes from alternate timelines are not applicable. Wh what? No! <laughs> now this is hilarious! How perfect! Oh, oh, oh. 
why, why did we even struggle through all of that just now? Those guns turned my body into Swiss cheese. And you're telling me that it was all for nothing? All we did was die in vain? So, just one person needs to die. What? Just, just one more person, and Akane and Carlos can... Junpei, you... Wait, Junpei! Hey! That means you must be punished. B punished? Time to exterminate. Exterminate? was shift, Carlos. That's it! Shift! I could shift! There's no way I'm leaving Junpei and Kai behind. I'll come up with a plan in another history and jump right back. Uh, where do I go? Which history should I jump to? Damn it! I don't have time to think! Then... 